Hi, Doherty Dolphins. This is Miss Annie with the next art lesson. The theme this month is called Dublin Pride. The style of art is called commercial art, and that really is just art that's created for like a business purpose, like to get you interested in a product or a service or an idea. For example, advertising in a magazine or a website or on TV. One of my most favorite artists is known for this, and that's Norman Rockwell. He was born in 1894 in New York City and died in 1978. He decided to become an artist really early. So at age 14, Rockwell went to art school. People liked his work early on, and so he had his first commercial job at age 15. He's known for how he captures American culture, like in this painting here. One of the things that Rockwell is famous for are his cover illustrations for a popular magazine in the early 1900s, and that's called the Saturday Evening Post. He did this for over 50 years, and Rockwell produced a lot of artwork. He painted more than 4,000 original artworks during his lifetime. And he also illustrated more than 40 books like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Now let's look at a painting Rockwell did for Coca-Cola in 1935. And this is called Out Fishing. And it's a boy sitting on a stump by a lake and he's fishing with his dog next to him and a cold bottle of Coca-Cola in his hand. And the quote says, friends for life. And when you look at that, it looks like a typical American boy on a nice hot afternoon, and it makes you want to go out and buy a bottle of Coke. So that is a great example of commercial art. And that brings me to your student project called Dublin Pride. Here's what I was thinking. St. Patrick's Day is in March, and... Well, our city was named after Dublin, Ireland, and there's so much to celebrate here in our little city. So why not create a poster about something we are proud of or something we love about Dublin? And that could be a symbol or a scene or anything. So use your imagination. It could be your school, because that's in Dublin. It could be your neighborhood, like the friends that you play with or the, your favorite park. So we do have a few rules with this one, and I'll tell you why. Well, first, you can use any materials you have at home, and please use your imagination. Have fun with this. Um, hold your paper in landscape orientation, and that means where the paper is long from left to right like a garage door. And the reason for that is because we will be featuring some of your artwork on our school website and on the PFC page because this is commercial art, right? And please include words. So uh, Dublin or whatever it is that you drew. So if you drew your school, please include your school's name. So here's what I did. I took my drawing pencils and decided to sketch first. And when I think Dublin, I think green and shamrocks and kids because I have three kids at three different schools. And when I think kids, I think Mickey Mouse. So I drew Mickey Mouse wearing a St. Patrick's Day outfit. And I wrote, I love Dublin, because I said you needed to have text. And I colored it in with oil pastels, because I liked how it smudged. So I did have to use a piece of paper to make sure I didn't smudge the whole thing. And here is my final poster for my Dublin Pride. Now here are some other examples to give you some creative inspiration. The first one is from my fifth grader, Ava, who used colored pencils to create three dolphins representing Doherty Elementary. And we have a couple special guest artists. The first one is Principal Scarponato, who created a very cool and colorful collage representing Doherty Elementary's school playground. And you can pause at any time to read her message because it's very sweet. And the second guest artist is our PFC president, Mr. Eddie, who used pencil to sketch his favorite park in Dublin. And if you look closely, you probably all recognize this part of the park.
and now it's your turn to create your Dublin Pride poster. Use your imagination and have fun and I can't wait to see what you create.